Hey everybody, David Lemon here. We had an update for Groove Pages today, and I just wanted to show you some of the things that we added, improved, and fixed. Starting with the first one, if we select an element, which is some sort of a text element, then you can head over to the text styling options. And here, when you select a font, the font now has its own styles pulled in directly from Google Fonts. So we added on a Google Fonts API call, which make sure that all the fonts that we have once selected it, they pull in its own styles and also when the page is published it's going to only show the actual style that was selected which is making the uh, the page much smoother and faster another thing that we brought back is the space cascading which means that you can manage the space on all devices at the same time this was requested by our users and this was brought back as a as a temporary solution we are going to make uh, a much uh, easier to understand uh, selectors and options instead of these ones on here but at this moment you can have this space cascading which means that you can manage the space on more devices at the same time so these were the additions we also did some improvements to existing options for example when you had a hamburger menu in the in the navigation bars previously they were uh, there were no options to manage the colors and also we now have the option where you actually have it closed when the page is published so if you had it previously like this whenever you visited the page and the menu was opened automatically now that is not happening anymore the menu is closed whenever you visit a published version of the site also this allows you to manage the styling and the, and the different colors of the of the hamburger icon so it is much easier to manage the next thing is this site was built with Groove Pages link for the for the free users. When somebody clicks on that, the site was uh, built with Groove Pages. The link opens in a new tab. Previously, it was opening in the same tab, and it was causing some confusions for the users that visited the website. Also, some of the things that we added is, is for example, when you add a button on the page, and you would like to have this button to be a call or telephone button or an email button that you can do now with click of a button go to configure tab link to a URL and you can now set up TEL for a telephone and then the phone number over here and once you update and you publish this page this will be a functioning telephone button this also works in the in the navigation whenever you're adding on some navigation menu options like external links for example let me show you on here let's just add an external link and you can say call us if you set it up as a call button with tel column and then the actual number you can have this button in the navigation menu be as a normal button that you click and it opens up a phone app uh, immediately so that was added it's very cool this works also with telephone and mail two options ability to change the input element text color so we had previously we had some different forms but in those forms when the form was dark you weren't able to manage the options let me just find uh, here we go so in this in this menu as you can see we have a bright green color over here and it would look better if the actual um, option over here would be white for example so now you can click over here to this input head over to the text and you can manage the color of the input box inside here text editor changes spacing when enter shift plus enter and control and enter are clicked so this is the next one and i will just demonstrate it over here as you can see on the screen we have a text element if you are typing in text and you click for example let's just choose here if you click the enter button it creates it creates a space between and now it starts typing in a new line however let's just click out and click inside here back again as you can see this is still the same element previously it was actually 
separating the different elements when you click the enter button now it's just creating a space that's one of the options when you click the enter button now I will click the shift plus enter on my keyboard so let me sh let me show you what it does when you click this one it immediately jumps below it doesn't create a spacing it it jumps below so you can continue typing the text okay so this is this is the space over here when you click the enter this is when you click shift plus enter and now if I click command or control plus enter it creates a new element without styling and it basically allows you to to manage it completely different from anything so in case you want to have a green text and you want to make it uh, make it bigger and you want to also add some extra different fonts then you can manage that all within your when your uh, text editor with your keyboard so enter is creating a, a space shift plus enter is just just making sure that there is a break but it continues right continues to write the text immediately below and then if you type if you actually click command or control plus the enter button or the keyboard then it actually creates a new element that you can style and also delete separately so you don't actually have to um, have to be afraid if you delete something it will not everything will be going away just that specific element um, another thing that we added is when you click on something you can now see what the actual uh, text element is so at this moment we can see that this is just a paragraph element over here this is a heading 3 tag let's just say I want to change this to a different heading element over here we added on um, a selector where you can choose would you like heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 and so on so if you set it up as heading 1 and you click out of it now you can see that this changed to heading one tag and in the code it shows up as head h1 so this is very good for seo benefits you can change and see all of the tags of every text element that you have added on the page so you can also the same way change the different options also one of the improvements is whenever you're typing in text we removed the red border around it so that you can continue writing text um, as basically it, it is going to appear on the canvas for everybody so this is very cool and it makes a lot of sense so that you can just type in the text and have it uh, have it previewed as it will appear on the actual live website we also had the request to add immediately a default type for the animations so at this moment whenever you are doing some kind of animation and you want to see it how it how it looks you can just choose an animation and then you can immediately preview it because the default animation type is selected for you so you don't have to worry about that it is on reveal by default another thing we hit the horizontal scroll bars on the canvas and published sites so at this moment you will not have a horizontal scroll bar whenever you go out of the borders you will not have a horizontal scroll bar so that it makes it much more simple and basically your uh, your pages will not slide left or right so that's it about improvements let's go on to the fixes we had issues where the custom borders that you set were not remembered so in case you uh, were managing your borders and you click over to customs and then you manage some of your borders on here you turned these on they were not remembered by the system so when you clicked out and you clicked back in they were not remembered but now you can come back to the custom borders and then you can see that they are all set up as you left them previously you can also make sure that the active campaign contacts that are already on your list they will be added to your new list now with the la latest fix to this functionality we also had issues where you were creating a funnel and you weren't able to select a blank template it was just not working properly at this moment you can create a funnel with a blank template as you see immediately it shows up and it, uh, it doesn't give you any error messages as, as it was before there were also issues when you were delete deleting some of your content on your pages now the 
the latest fix is making sure that doesn't happen again so for example some of the users were just deleting the container on here and that, that left the actual block still on the canvas now if you actually delete anything from your um, from your canvas the builder is going to make sure that there is nothing left behind so it's going to make sure that everything is clean and that you can continue working without any uh, leftover hidden elements resizing images was not working properly with the drag handles now that is fixed with the latest deployment if you have an image and if you would like to modify it with the drag handles you can now simply click on it and then you can modify it using these white drag handles as you can see over here if you would like to turn something back to the previous state just make sure that you go into sizing and put back everything to auto auto and it's going to pop back to where it was previously there were issues also with hiding videos on canvas so at this moment it is fixed and it was happening when you added on some video on your canvas and you wanted to you wanted to hide the video using the non functionality the issue was that when you went back at the later point and you wanted to to make it to display it was actually not changing but now as you can see that functionality is working as planned not only this but whenever you are hiding something else it was not hiding on specific devices but now if you if you want to if you want to hide it only on a particular device you can turn on the single screen override mode and then you can make sure that this actually gets hidden only on that specific device that you select on the other devices it is not going to be hidden and there were also issues with the hover states not being saved in global styles now if you actually set up a hover and you you create a global style from this hover effect you're going to be able to see that without any issues on the new elements that you that you bring in sharing funnels copied over the domain links whenever you created a, a share link using the shared site link and you already had your site connected to a custom domain or or any kind of domain on here it the share link was bringing that information in to the person that imported the page those settings were showing up on here that is not happening anymore and that was fixed with this latest deployment and also another thing that is outside the builder we fixed the search functionality for when you're searching sites on here so David if you type that in it is it is actually searching the, the sites nicely previously it was giving all kinds of issues when you were starting to type uh, it was kind of hesitant and it was loading in with each and every letter that you typed in so that was much slower and now it works beautifully so this is kind of it ladies and gentlemen this is a bigger deployment we are not going to be doing big deployments like this anymore we are going to continue and add on more and more stuff but with smaller deployments one or two things per week but a uh, more frequently um, we didn't do a deployment for quite a long time now and we had quite a few fixes that we needed to, to get sorted before we could do this deployment but now we we sorted those out and you will be seeing more and more frequent changes to the groove pages editor